Jack Gary's new band. Yeah, that was good. Really? Sounded like he'd been Gary's on the bus. Garage band. Sounded like he'd been on some Bud Heavies. Too. I think they recorded that on the bus, didn't they? Huh? Super Talk Mississippi, the JT Show. Hey, so glad you're here today, and uh, love to visit with you, Todd Adams, uh, new uh, member of the Super Talk family, broadcaster, meteorologist, going to join us. At uh, 12 o'clock, I, you know me, I'm a weather freak, weather nerd. I like to talk about stuff like that. I don't know why I'm am that. I'm, I'm a weather nerd. Uh, it's uh, a God Stacey. thing. Is it? Is that it's what it is? It's a God thing. I, it's some, I don't know what it is something about weather. It's just always infatuating I to wake me. up in the morning, you know, hit your drudge, hit my Fox News, go straight go next to weather. AccuWeather. Kind of look at the weather. Absolutely. Hey, um, uh, online at the auditor's website right now, people can actually go and click on a school district, the ones that you have right. audited. Uh, and they can actually see a breakdown of that, right? Yeah, absolutely. They can go to osa.ms.gov. That's our website. Mm-hmm. And they can do a search on there for, you know, we were talking earlier, Lee County Schools was one of the school districts we audited this mm-hmm. past year. And there's 46 others that you can look up on there. And if your doesn't your school district doesn't appear, then they'll probably be either this year or next year. And uh, what can I learn about the school district there? I mean, what, when I well, click on that, what am I going to see? That's purely dealing with their individual report. Now, we're getting ready to re- release the comprehensive report that goes through residency issues. Are they validating the kids actually live in that school district? Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of our school districts in the state only validate the kids when they first enroll the very first year. They never go back and check it. At some point, you have to cross your mind, you know, people can move. And they can move back into town or back into the county, depending on what school district they want to be in in the state. And that's something that should be done under state law every year. Of course, bringing that to their attention to help make sure we're doing what we say we're going to do. Accountability is key, and that's nothing that we all weren't taught in Sunday school as kids. One of the things that concerns me, though, with all this accountability is that they're going to say, well, for us to be accountable, we're going to need more money. I just see that coming. Well, that just seems like I can see that on the horizon right well, now. You know, we all go always get into this fight every year of fully fund MAEP. And, you know, I showed you the flow chart. Seven pages of flow charts in January is what we revealed. When I was in the state That thing Senate, gave me a headache just oh, looking at it. Yeah, you know, it took my staff almost a year just to figure out A plus B plus C equal. I thought it would be very simple. Show me the formula. And it literally took seven pages of flow charts. It was, it was not a one plus one plus two plus times three or whatever. It was if then, then go here, then do this, then take this number. If this number is greater than or this number is less than. It was very complicated. But now we know what that formula is we're able to go and start auditing each individual segment to make sure we're getting real numbers and as i told one uh, education person last fall when we first started going through this i don't know ultimately at the end of the day is this going to make the formula go up or go down that's not the issue the issue is every parent every taxpayer in mississippi wants real numbers that we can believe in and we can trust in every administrator wants that and that's what's going to be effective. This is not a game to see what we can do with the formula up or down. It's just to deal with real numbers, real facts, real details that we can measure. Everything that we do should be specific, measurable, and time-limited. If we can do that, we can measure and find out, are we making progress in educating our kids and moving them forward? And when we do that, I'm confident the state will move forward and everybody will move forward together. You are sworn when when you take this when you took the oath of office when you were elected you were sworn right. to uphold the law to protect the people's taxpayers' money. Absolutely. When you do things like this, it's unpopular sometimes. You can you can lose friends and make enemies real quick, and and, and it's nothing to do with anything other than the fact that you have to do your job. Have to do the job, and you know, and that's what. Unfortunately, you're right. Sometimes I've had friends and others who they take it personally and realize you know this is not personal and this is not Stacy Pickering's agenda. This is the state auditor simply seeing, are you complying with the laws, the rules, and the regulations of the state of Mississippi? And sometimes we're even able to take time to find out, is there a more efficient or effective way to do your job? We do that ourselves every three years. I have other state auditors come to Mississippi, and they audit me in my office. And we have found better ways to do things that are more efficient, more effective, uh, save the taxpayers $60,000 just by going to email instead of mailing out newsletters and invoices. How about that? Saves a tremendous amount of money. 
you guys made an arrest Friday. Hey, we did. Uh, just saw the press release. Just came out down in Stone County. It was late Friday afternoon working with the Stone County Sheriff's Office. Uh, their former executive director of their economic development partnership, uh, J. Paul Gum, was arrested for embezzling over $24,000 of the accusations. And, of course, he'll have his day in court. Uh, but we're confident we've got that case wrapped up. Uh, the folks in, down in Stone County have been very patient as we've worked this case. It's been reported early on. And uh, it's now starting to move toward fruition. But, uh, again, holding people accountable to the tax, how we spend and manage the taxpayer money. And I think it's important anybody, whether hired, appointed, elected, to know that someone eventually is going to look over your shoulder and you're going to be held accountable. Uh, embezzled, uh, let's see, uh, Executive Director of the Stone County Economic Development Partnership, J. Paul Gum, embezzled over $24,000, uh, various instances of embezzlement, including uh, some 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 bogus checks and some things like that, and forged some checks, about eleven thousand of it. He just deposited directly into his own personal account. I expect I'll just use this one here. Thank you very much. <laughs> do you well, ever? When you, real quick, if somebody expects fraud, if somebody's out there and they believe that someone is defrauding the state of Mississippi out of money, embezzling money, or doing something kind of shady, what's the best route to do? And how do they know they won't get outed for doing that? Well, we've got a, over 110 individuals have pled guilty and found guilty. We're working 143 cases. The public, I think everyone knows, we hit, we do our best to protect someone when they come forward as a whistleblower, first and foremost. They can go to our website, osa.ms.gov. There is a tag at the bottom of that site to report fraud, waste, and abuse. All they have to do is click on that. It gives them a preset form, and somebody can literally fill that out online, give us as much detail as they can, and as they, they know, and we'll be able to follow up with an inquiry, and if we find out there's enough there, we'll move into an investigation stage. Mm -hmm. If they want to call, 1-800-321-1275. 321-1275 and ask to speak to one of our investigators and then we'll take the complaint right over the phone. It's that simple. And and you you can be, you'll be protected. You don't have to worry about retribution right. things like that. I and mean, that's that's the way y'all work and that's how it does work. Well, it does work. And you know, about half of our cases come from whistleblowers, the other half come from what we find during the audit process. Right. And so, you know, I got to give a hat tip to not just the public and public employees who help report, but also to our employees at audit who are actually out doing counting the beans, number by number, who find problems, and they turn it over to the investigative division, and they do a great job. And people should do that. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried about retaliation or something like that, because that's what uh, these guys do. And then if there's an issue, the, they're going to get it out of there. That's what they're that's designed exactly. to do, protect the taxpayer dollars. Uh, I still laugh. I'll never forget that quote that lady said back when Bryant uh, Governor Bryant was the state auditor and actually called this radio show and said, you know, we didn't have any fraud in the state of Mississippi till Governor Bryant got in the state auditor's office. And I laugh about that and laugh about that. And, and you've taken it to the next level, Stacey. Well, I had a great foundation to build on, and that's what's, uh, you know, good following someone like Governor Bryant. And we've been able to build on that foundation. We've got a great staff. Uh, we've been able to really make an impact for the taxpayers. We've covered over $19 million of taxpayer money that's been embezzled or stolen mm -hmm. uh, in my two terms in office so far. Uh, real proud of the work our folks do, and it's an honor to be able to go to work day in and day out to do that. And, uh, again, the website for people, once again, uh, and the number real quick, and we're going to tweet that out, too, just so we can have it for people that want to report people. It, whether it's to go and find the reports on the school districts or to report fraud, mm -hmm. Go to osa.ms.gov. Okay. And uh, you can do that right there and then or the number. Or you can hit the phone number, 1-800-321-1275. Yep. 1-800-321-1275. That'll put you right in touch with the auditor's office, and we'll get you in touch with our investigators if you call to report fraud, waste, and abuse. Please do. Football season's here. Hey, yeah, we're I mean, excited. It's here. High school starts this week. It's all yeah. ready to go. It's hard to believe, isn't Some it? Some of them already cranked up a little bit. And so it's fun. Had it's a lot of watching. jamborees over the weekend. Absolutely. And uh, excited about that. I know everybody is that time of year. And the Saints are hey, too. Look, it's Dove season opens in a couple of weeks. Football's here. Then it'll be deer season and Christmas before we know it. I'm, I'm telling you, this senior year is going to go faster than you can ever imagine. And hey. I'm dealing with the same thing. So 
Look, Take an these extra kids, time. These out. kids are growing up in a hurry. I'm hey, going to tell you. Now look, we're going to have to get you to get your Super Talk ID back here so you can get in the building <laughs> next time. Okay? We're going. We got the camera already set up. So I'm going to get the Capitol Police come find out how to do building security. Uh, this is amazing. Man. Thank you, Stacy Pickering, your state auditor here. Thank you, sir. Hey have, guys, have great to be with week. you and the Super Talk family. Thank you very much. The JT Show continues here on Super Talk Mississippi. 